A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Don't suppose for a minute that I have come to demolish the scriptures, either God's law or the prophets. I am not here to demolish, but to complete. I am going to put it all together, put it all together in a vast panorama. God's law is more real and lasting than the stars in the sky and the ground at your feet. Long after stars burn out and the earth wears out, God's law will be alive and working. Trivialize even the smallest item in God's law and you will only have trivialized yourself. But take it seriously, show the way for others, and you will find honor in the kingdom. Unless you do far better than the Pharisees in the matters of right living, you won't know the first thing about entering the kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. A call to accompany. In our Gospel today, Jesus declares that he would not undermine the law and the prophets, but fulfill them. But what is he going to fulfill? Protestant theologian N.T. Wright has pointed out that the Old Testament is essentially an unfinished symphony, a drama without a climax. It is the articulation of a hope, a dream, a longing, but without a realization of that hope, without a satisfaction of that longing. And then Jesus came, fulfilling the dream in the most unexpected way. Our God is a God of nearness, who walks with his people and loves them unconditionally. When we say that God falls in love with us, it means that he is willing to give up everything for us, just like two life partners do for each other. However, this love and closeness also bring vulnerability along with it. Pope Francis develops on this theme and says, As God walks among his people and falls in love with them, he makes himself vulnerable. The closer he comes to us, he takes on the form of a man. Becoming one of us by taking on our weaknesses and carrying them to the point of the most painful and shameful death. He does so to be with us, to walk with us and to help us. In today's Gospel, we are presented with a proposal to be there for our fellow brethren and to love them, even if it means being vulnerable and humble. By doing so, we can become the greatest in His kingdom.